what is going on everybody my name is alexis today we're going to be cleaning out my closet for springtime i like to go through my closet every six months to make sure that what i have for the upcoming season whether it's like winter or summer is actually stuff i'm gonna wear i also know what i have for the season if i need to get anything um, and also my closet is just getting really cluttered, so I'd like to get rid of a bunch of stuff. So I'm going to dedicate today to going through that, and I want to bring you all along with me. Like I said, my name's Alexis. I make content on here about my life adventures in my 20s. Me and my boyfriend love to ski, hike, rock climb, and then also how I manage doing all of that while I work a 40 plus hour week job and my life in between. So if you're interested, please subscribe and stay tuned to watch us clean out my closet. Okay, so we're over at the closet. I'm gonna just do a quick like close tour to show you what stuff is mine, what stuff we're gonna be going through and where I keep it in my room. Okay, so walking into our closet, my boyfriend and I share a closet because we live together. So, <laughs> This is what it looks like right now. It's kind of a mess, but what we tend to do is we keep like jackets, sweatshirts and stuff over here. These are my clothes up until like, I don't know, this divider thing here. These are all Davis's clothes. <laughs> he has a lot, he needs to go through it, but this video, I'm gonna focus on me because he's not here today. For my clothes, I have it sorted by like, pants like jean type pants then tank tops um t-shirts which i don't have a lot of and i need to get for work because we aren't allowed to wear tank tops at work and i hated t-shirts for the longest time so i actually need to buy some more t-shirts to wear to work and probably clear out some of the tank tops that i have and then i try to organize by color within those categories so then we have long sleeves kind of organized by color um i love sweaters not very practical now that it's summertime though and then i have one single cardigan and then after the cardigan i have dresses which i'm not a huge dress wearer but i'm trying to get into it more so dresses i have like a sweater dress and then i have a pair of like life bibs is what they're called. They're essentially like overalls, but like a khaki material. And that's it for the closet. We keep our hats up here as well, which I only have two or three hats up there, which I guess I could go through, but I don't really wear hats that often. We keep our shoes on these shoe racks down here. Again, clearly a mess. Those are mine. These are Davis's. I'm not sure where all my shoes are. I might need to go get some from the living room. Okay, so the first place I'm gonna start is in my closet. So we'll go through each type of clothes, see how much of it I have, and try to get rid of as much as I possibly can. So let's start with pants. Also, pro tip, if you ever need hangers, don't buy them new. Thrift stores sell them in like massive bundles for like a dollar, so get your hangers used from thrift stores, if possible. Okay, so first up with pants. Here's the deal. With work, I have to wear pants every day. We can't like wear shorts or stuff. We're working on a professional site. So we need to be professional. We need to wear pants every day. I can wear jeans. I just can't like wear shorts to work. So in preparation for having this job, I went to the thrift store and I bought a few different pairs of pants. Turns out I don't love them necessarily and I actually found better replacements for them. So, this was a pair of pants I got from the thrift store. They're super cute because they're really light and they have like a flowy-ish ankle. It's not like a huge ankle, but it's a little flowy. It's like a, I don't know, the whole pant is a wide leg. Super cute, really comfortable. Um, when I first got them, they were like shaped well around my booty area and the rest of it was really flowy. Maybe I've like lost weight, maybe I've just lost my but, but now they're no longer tight in that area, so it's a little less flattering. Um, additionally, these pants are a little bit short around the ankle, so I have to wear tall socks, and then you can see the socks with my shoes that I wear, so I don't really love that look. I think that's not really what these pants were going for, so I think we might be getting rid of these. I do have similar pants to those, though, 
from Cool, which is a brand that I love so much. I got these off of Poshmark. It's the same color. Um, these are a little bit more snug fitting, I guess. They're not quite as wide or flowy, but they're more of a relaxed fit, I guess. I love these. They have a jawstring inside. Loosen them throughout the day if you want, whatever. They're longer, which I like. And they're the splash roll-up pants, so you can actually like roll them up if you're wearing them outside to like do mountain stuff. Um, and you can like turn them into capris. I love these. I really want to get some more pairs of them. I'm keeping my eye on Poshmark for a good deal. These I'm definitely keeping. I think I'll get rid of those other green ones though. <laughs> okay, next are jean style pants. Here's my problem. As I'm growing up, I'm not super into skinny jeans anymore, which is all that I own. And I don't know what other styles of jeans to wear now. I have this old pair. I mean, like all of my pants are from high school. Like, let's be clear here. I have not bought new clothes since before college, except for some recent thrift store finds. Otherwise, like my pants that are worn, high school. I'm 23. <laughs> So it's probably time for a new wardrobe, but I like to wear things until I can't wear them anymore. I just don't like skinny jeans anymore. I feel like I'm too old to be wearing things that are like skin tight. So I have two pairs of blue jeans. There's nothing wrong with these. I just don't love how they feel on me anymore. I have a second pair that I do still wear to work. So I'll probably keep the other pair because I wear those all the time and I always avoid wearing this pair. So it's probably time to get rid of this pair. Plus, do I really need two pairs of blue skinny jeans? No. Next I have a pair of black skinny-ish jeans. They're a little more relaxed fit. They're not quite as tight. I like to keep these just because they're a little more professional. I don't have any like black slacks or anything, but I think that a pair of black, more loose jeans can do the job. If you have like a job interview or something, I think they're a little more casual but they can be dressed up nicely. So I'm gonna keep these just because they're the only pair of black pants I own besides leggings. <laughs> okay, staying in the closet, we'll move on to tank tops now. These are all my tank tops that I have hanging in my closet right now. Probably a little bit too many. Try to clear some of these out. Okay, first, this is a tie-dye top from American Eagle had it since beginning of college or right at the end of high school. Super cute. I love that it's tie-dye, very much fits my personality. I wore this a ton in college, just on like warm summer days, walking to and from class. Is it a little too much for me now? Probably, but I love it. It's like so fitting for me. So maybe I'll keep it for like, the next two months and at the end of summer if i didn't wear it we'll get rid of it next is this super cute yellow tank top from lululemon it like crisscrosses in the back i got it from plato's closet so i thrifted it super cute however what i've realized is i am no longer a size four in lululemon my ribs get so squeezed in their like built-in sports bras. So all of their tank tops that are size four don't really fit me, so I don't wear them because they're not comfortable to wear. They're way too tight. Unfortunately, I don't think this is gonna be the only Lululemon tank top that we're gonna get rid of today. Loved the color, hated the fit. This is a brand new tank top that I just got from ThreadUp. So I guess it's not brand new. It's new to me. Super cute, super flowy. You can dress it up, it can be casual. I love it. On the topic of Lululemon tank tops, like I said, I'm obsessed with tank tops. I like, I love the way that tank tops look on me as compared to t-shirts. For whatever reason, I just hated t-shirts or I decided I hated t-shirts in college. So I got rid of every t-shirt I owned, literally every t-shirt I owned, including athletic ones because I decided tank tops were it for me. It was either gonna be a tank top or a long sleeve big regrets now because now I don't have any t-shirt. Anyway, from ThreadUp, that same ThreadUp order, I got three of the exact same Lululemon tank top all in different colors because I couldn't decide which one I wanted and they're all super cute. However, 
I got them all in a size four. So guess what doesn't fit? All three. <laughs> I absolutely love the color of this one. I could probably do without this one. This one's super cute, mint color Lululemon. Brand new, amazing condition. I just haven't worn it because it squeezes me. I'm gonna get rid of this one. <sighs> I love this color. Like this is my color. I love it. Super cute. It's so freaking tight. And I have the exact same thing in black, which again, I love the color because I can wear this anywhere. I can make it look fancy. I can make it look athletic. I can make it casual. So I think I'm gonna hold on to these just because I want a reminder to try to find it in a size six instead of a size four. Does anyone else have an issue with Lululemon where like you're typically a size whatever, but for some reason it's like super tight around your ribs in your normal size and you have to bump up a size. This tank top was from Paxson, like sophomore year of high school. It's like a halter top and it's got like an open-ish back. I love this thing. The neck has gotten really stretched out. So I might have to like cut it and then tie it. That would probably be cuter than like, I always have to tie like a little knot in it to keep it up on my neck. If you had larger boobs, it would probably fit better. I don't. I love the color. I used to wear this all the time. So I think I'm gonna keep it just for like hot summer days and I can just throw on this halter top. This is my American Eagle New Year's Eve top. She's sparkly, she's cute, she's like comfy. She was like, I don't know, not fitted, but not super tight or loose. Like it's got enough room for you to breathe, for you to eat, for you to drink, whatever. I love this top. I never wear it except for holiday parties. Literally no other time. Which tells me I should probably get rid of it because I can wear anything else to a holiday party. I'm gonna keep it for now. If I don't wear it by the end of the year, I'll get rid of it. Last thing that was in that thread up order was this super cute Lululemon like yoga top. It's got mesh like halfway down the back. I live in this. Oh my God, it's so cute. It's got like cinched sides and it's got like ties so you can make it even tighter. I love it. It's so cute, so flattering. It makes you feel confident. And that is why we're wearing clothes, to feel confident. Next, we've made it through pants and tank tops in the closet. Next is t-shirts. I don't have many of these, so this is gonna be real quick. This is a brand new t-shirt that I bought off of Poshmark. Brand new for me. White t-shirt, keeping it. I just bought it. I got this from the local thrift store. It's like a flowy white and blue embroidered shirt. I'm not used to like the boat necks, the square necks, but it's cute, it fits. Maybe it's a little bit too big, but it's fine. I bought this sweater t-shirt, expecting to love it. This is gonna be way too warm to wear in the desert summers. Like Colorado summers are so hot. I can't keep this because I would only wear it in the winter time and if I'm gonna wear a sweater t-shirt in the winter time, I wear a light long sleeve. So unfortunately this thrift find was not as practical as I expected. My mom got me this marmot t-shirt for Christmas this year. I don't wear a lot of graphic tees. This is also a little bit small on me. It's a small, um, it's definitely more fitted. It's good for work, it's a good backup to have if I can't find anything else I wanna wear. I'm gonna keep it for now. I need to find more work t-shirts because we're at the end. That was it, that was all of the work t-shirts I have. Oh no, there's one more. I lied, I have two more work t-shirts. I have this green one, again, just like a thrift store find, Poshmark find, thread up find, don't remember. It was thrifted, it's really warm. So not great for like hot summer days, but whatever. It's good for warm summer nights, so that'll be good. But as you can see, I have like no t-shirts, so I'm gonna need to find more for work just because that's all I'm able to wear to work. Okay, the next section is long sleeves. Most of these are sweaters. I just got this nice button down from Poshmark. I have yet to wear it because it's now like 80 degrees outside every day, so I'm not about to wear a button down. This is way outside of my comfort zone, but I figured Dress to impress, dress for the job you want, whatever. So I figured I can throw this in with like my daily work outfit every now and then. 
Uh, next I have this cardigan that I thrifted locally. It is so cute. Look at these details on the sleeves. My issue with this is that the sleeves are so tight that it like leaves the cardigan hanging wide open all day long. It makes me feel like my stomach is sticking out just because like the cardigan doesn't wrap around you. It like hangs almost behind you. I haven't worn this yet and I thrifted it like six months ago and now we've already had winter and I never wore it. I think these sleeves are so cute though. I'm gonna list this one. Next is just like a simple turtleneck gray sweater. Thrifted it, love it, not going anywhere. Also, if you're not hanging your sweaters like this and you're getting shoulder bumps, start doing this. I completely ruined one of my favorite long sleeve sweaters from hanging it like over the end of the hangers and getting those awful like hanger bumps in your shoulders. Don't do that, hang it this way. It takes up so much more space in your closet, which is so annoying, but it saves your sweaters. So highly recommend. I just thrifted this off of Poshmark. It is so cute. Can we talk about those colors? I love the neutrals. I love the earthy tones. And I also love high neck sweaters. I think they're so cozy. They look professional, even though it feels like you're wearing a blanket to work. <laughs> This is a cool sweater that I got like three years ago. It's a turtleneck, high turtleneck, super nice burnt orange color. I love it. It's gotten to the point though where it's a little, it hangs a little weird. I don't know if it's just from being worn so much. I kind of stopped wearing it in the middle of the last winter though. I'm gonna try to list it. That one was a hot take for me. I'm impressed. Next we have a CSU Proud Spirit Jersey. Is that what these things are called? Yeah. Got this from the bookstore when I accepted CSU's, I don't know, offer of acceptance for my undergrad. I never wear this. It is like, it's just not soft. It's kind of rough. It's huge also, like mega. Mega too big for me. I'm gonna list it, see if like a new student wants it. Oh my God, you guys, I found this in my local thrift store. Look at her. She's so fuzzy. I don't know if you can see the detail on this. Super fuzzy, so warm, like so warm. Do not wear it on a day that's above freezing. It is so hot but it is so cute. I wore this to like Christmas parties because it's like, I don't know, ice theme looking, like Elsa vibes. Yeah, I love it. I think it's so cute. I think the color looks really good with my hair, like the ice blue with my curly hair. Love this thing. We're getting to the end of the long sleeves, I promise. Next, I have this flannel I just bought from the thrift store. I love the colors. I have worn this a ton already. I like wearing t-shirts underneath it on like warm days that start off with a really cold morning because I can leave this open and I just think it looks so cute. I love it. I rolled the sleeves up. I used to do that with Davis's flannels. So now I can do it with my own. <laughs> this sweater has been with me since high school and my friend Connor loves it, wants to steal it from me. So if I ever get rid of this. I'm shipping it to Connor because he deserves it. But this is like a men's medium billabong sweater. It's got like really nice stitching in it, really nice embroidery or I don't know, cross stitching. I don't know what you call that. I love this thing. It's so cozy. It looks so cute with a pair of leggings. So keeping that one. This is a new Patagonia shirt that I just bought. I bought it from their website because Patagonia is one of those companies that I think has a decent mission. If I could have found a thrifted, I would have, just because I think that we should keep clothes going through a cycle rather than just spending money. But I like to support companies that have missions I believe in. So I bought this from Patagonia. It's a nice, just like button down Henley shirt or whatever, I don't know. These are kind of popular though. It's light, I like it. It's nice for like warm winter days. 
Okay, last long sleeve is this North Face shirt my mom got me for Christmas. It says the North Face down the arm. Super nice for like a night shift at work when I don't have to look nice. It's comfy, it's cozy, it's warm. It feels like I'm wearing like a nighttime shirt. Love it. Okay, this looks better already. Okay, now we go to dresses. This is gonna be really hard for me because up until a year ago, I owned one dress and it was a hand-me-down from my friend Caroline. This one, just like a tie-dye, it's like knee length. Does this not scream Lex? Like how, how hippie can we be? So this was the only dress I owned a year ago. It's literally what I wore to mine and Davis's graduation party. I'll put a photo of it right here. Yeah, only dress I owned at the time. Anything formal, I'd wear a hippie tie-dye dress. People must have been like, oh my gosh, who is this girl? Let's see what I own now. This is a super pretty Arcteryx dress. Nice peach color. It's like a really nice athletic material. So if you sweat in it, it's like a quick dry. Um, it has pockets, which as women know, hard to come by in a dress. I don't wear this as much as I would like, just because you can tell it gets so wrinkly and I don't have a ton of time to iron things. Also the cinch, I'm not sure if you're supposed to wear it like at your waist or like at your hips. So I think I just need to learn how to wear this dress, but I think it's so pretty. The material is amazing too. This is a new Patagonia dress that I bought. I think the color is beautiful. Can you tell I love like blues. I think it's because of my eyes, but I don't think that's like a conscious thing. I think that's like a subconscious thing that people always just told me that it makes my eyes pop. So I want to do that. Help, psychology. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, this is a super cute Patagonia dress. It's really similar to that last pink one with like the cinch and everything, except this one comes with a little belt. Um, Additionally, it's got zip up pockets, which I think is a cute little detail. Um, it's also got like lower leg pockets, like Patagonia went all out with this dress. Keeping it, but hopefully I'm gonna wear it a lot more this summer now. Don't be mad. I bought a dress that I didn't need from ThreadUp because it was like $6. I know you're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to buy things just because they're on sale. Who doesn't need a little black dress that's like formal, you know? I don't own any black dresses and this one is so flattering. It's so fitted and so nicely like accentuates your curves or whatever. Look at this little beading detail, so pretty. It goes all the way down the back, which is like, I don't know, crisscrossed when you have the dress on. Super cute, I haven't gotten the opportunity to wear it yet, but this would be great for like a wedding, I think, or like a party, a formal party. We do like work Christmas parties. I think this would be perfect for that. So keeping that because I just got it, haven't had the chance to wear it. Maybe it's a little niche, but I think it's so flattering. Next we have a hand-me-down from my friend Lindsay. This is like a bell sleeved blue, kind of like Elsa colored dress, really, cute winter vibes. I have a country themed wedding to go to this year and I think that this might be the best option. I don't know, the lace kind of gives off country vibes and the bell sleeves, so really cute. I wear that a lot in the winter time for events. This sweater dress is from Cool. This is like, I call it like my, my mom dress. This is perfect after like a ski day when like all my clothes are wet and I need to slip something on real quick. This with a pair of leggings underneath it is so comfy. It's so easy. It's like literally a long sweatshirt essentially with pockets in the front. Oh my God, love it. It's great for skiing. Last dress. See, I have a lot of dresses for someone that doesn't wear dresses. I'm trying to get into it. This is a dark purple Arcteryx dress. Again, kind of that athletic material. This one's a little more formal though. It's got pockets in it. Again, our athletic brands really know how to make a woman happy. I've worn this a ton because it doesn't get wrinkled. This one like super nice in that way. 
I think it's super cute, formal if you want it to be formal or it doesn't have to be. So I love this dress. Finally in the closet, I have my overalls. Davis got me them from Fly Low. They're called the Fly Low Life Bibs. It's just like my ski pants, but these are for everyday life. These are so cute. They have pockets in the back. They have pockets in the front. They have like a bib pocket. So cute, I love these. I haven't gotten to wear it as much as I would like just because he got them for me in the summertime. I think they're more of like a spring fall outfit because they're like, they're heavy and warm, but you could wear like a bralette under this if it's a hot day. You could wear like a sweater under it if it's a cold day. So super versatile, can't wait to wear these more. Okay, so that's it for the closet. Let's go through the sweaters real quick and then we'll go over to the drawer. This is my brand new Patagonia cardigan pullover deal has a name, better sweater, got it. Brand new pa Patagonia better sweater. This thing is so cute, but the small is not as roomy as I would like if I wear a t-shirt under it, because this is super warm. If I wear a t-shirt under it, it gets all bunched up because it's a little small. I'm gonna try to sell it. I love this little pocket on the arm too, really nice detail. But I'm gonna try to sell it just because I don't wear it because it's, not as loose as I would have liked a sweater or like sweatshirt. Maybe it's meant to be worn as just a sweater like by itself, but that's not how I would wear it. I would wear something under it because I'm afraid it would get too hot. So that's my bad, not Patagonia's. Okay, next up are two sentimental pieces. These are flannel sweaters from my grandfather who passed away three years ago. <sighs> I hate having objects that are sentimental because I feel like I can't get rid of them and I have to hold on to them. Because otherwise I feel like I'm a bad person or I'm not like respecting someone. I don't wear these. I just don't. They're Pendleton so they're really nice. I just never wear them. I think I'm gonna keep this one because this is like a classic Vermont flannel. Like classic colors. This one, I love the colors. It's something I would wear more often, but I just don't wear it anyway. So I'm gonna probably get rid of that one, unfortunately. I feel bad, but like, I feel like I don't need to have an attachment to an object just because it was somebody's that I love, you know? I have other memories, I don't need their stuff too. Next is my Melly. Oh my God. If you guys don't know what Melanzana is, they're amazing. I love, love, oh, there we go. Love my Melanzana. They're handmade in Leadville, Colorado. They're amazing. They're super rare. My friend Caroline gifted this to me. She's an angel. I love it. Now we get to the jacket portion of the video. So you're about to see a lot of Arcteryx. This is the, this is the Adam. Adam AR, I think. Super great winter jacket. If you need a new winter jacket, get this one. It's synthetic down. It's amazing. 100% get it. This bad boy is the Proton FL. Yep, that's what this is. I love it, I love the color, and it has fuzzy pockets for your hands. I don't know why companies don't do more of that. Make fuzzy pockets. Fuzzy pockets for the win. Keeping all these because they're really nice jackets and I wear them. I have my ski shell. Ski pant bib combo, wear that like three times a week. So I need that. And lastly, this is some sort of like anorak windbreaker from Patagonia. So thin, but it is amazing. It will save you on a mountain ridge. It stops the wind immediately. It is so warm, even though it's literally like see-through, like see-through, it is so thin but it's amazing, I love it. It packs down to be like a quarter of a liter. This thing is amazing. And that is my closet after she's been sifted through. Ton of hangers on the floor now. Here is a pile of clothes to try to sell or give away. Check out my Poshmark if you liked any of these items and want to make an offer on them so i am going to post all of these today try to sell them until then i'm just gonna have to find a place to store it all 
but we got rid of a lot of different pieces, honestly. So I feel really good about this. I feel like it's gonna make me feel lighter, take up less mental space trying to pick clothes out when I have all of these extra options that I don't need. I just spent the last hour and a half listing all those clothes on Poshmark. So that took way longer than expected, but they're all up there. And I'm already getting some interest on things like the Lululemon leggings or the Arcteryx shorts, which makes sense because those are high profile brands. So it makes sense people are more interested in them. If you saw anything that you were interested in and want to check out my Poshmark, um, my Poshmark account that you can go look up is my first and last name, Alexis Meyer, and the number 12. So feel free to go check that out. Um, but yeah, I just put all the clothes away in my drawer that I'm trying to sell. And then I realized I don't want them taking up my personal space. I'm trying to get rid of them. If I have to look at them regularly, I'm probably gonna start second guessing whether I really wanna sell it or not. So I'm just gonna pack it up in bags and boxes. Hope that some of it sells, I'll like hide it in the top of my closet or something or put them in the back of my car. That way I don't look at it. Hope some stuff sells. That was productive. 